After last week's lesson, I'm sure you all rushed out to work on your putting speed. And now that we've got that down, we're putting it all together. In this week's lesson on the links, River's Edge Club Pro Eric Granada shows us how to get your putts rolling on the right line. Last week, Eric showed us how to get the speed of the greens right, but that's only part of it. As you can see, the slope of the green can make getting the direction of your putts right a very difficult task. I think when you're reading the green, like we talked about before, I think speed's obviously the most important thing, but you definitely want to get the ball started on the right line with the speed that you're going to hit the ball. When I'm going to read a green, the first thing I do is I pay attention when I'm walking up to that green. I pay attention to what the green looks like from afar because that's going to give me some clues to how the ball is going to break overall. But once I'm on the green, the first thing I do is I get back behind it and I look down my line and I try and figure out which way I think this ball is going to move. The other thing I'm looking at though is whether it's uphill, whether it's downhill, whether it's flat. Or, or what have you. But after I've figured out which way I think the ball is going to break, I like to walk down the low side of it. I like walking down the low side because it's like reading a book. When you're reading a book, you tilt it up towards you, and that's what we're doing when we're walking down the low side of the, of the putt. That green's tilted up towards us, and it's going to give us a better read of what that ball is going to do. After I've walked down it, I kind of take just an overview of it, but the most important part for me to look at is really the second half of this putt. And the reason for that is, the second half of this putt is where this ball is going to break most because as that ball slows down, the break is going to take more influence on it. Yes, this first part will have a little bit of effect, but that second half of the putt is where most of the break is going to happen. Once I get back to the ball, I will walk back behind the ball and I'll take another look. And when I'm back here, I've got all the information I need. I'm just looking to pick a spot out where I can get this ball rolling over that spot where I think it's going to go in the hole. And now I just walk up. And I do what we talked about in the previous lesson, where I get my eyes over the golf ball, line my putter up to the spot, and just make a good smooth stroke back and through. Well, oftentimes reading the green can be a lot more difficult than reading a book. But much like reading a book, when you do it right, it can be a very satisfying feeling. For Channel 11 Sports, I'm Travis Kozak.